Hello everyone, welcome to this month's Ulta redecorating video for the month of July. I had to think about that for a second because I've been so off track with what month it is. It's taken me a while to actually see that it's actually coming into July. How have we gotten here? I have no freaking clue. It feels like everything's gone by very fast but slow at the same time. It's felt very weird. Anyways, I've already staged the area. I've staged the crystals. There is a really weird energy around this morning, so I don't know if that's just an energy that came in to assist us with the altar today, but I'm just going to embrace it, and I don't feel like it's negative. It just feels, it feels like an alien energy, but it feels different than what I've usually felt, so I don't know if it's maybe a new alien race coming in that I need to work with or something like that, but very, very interesting energy. I swear I keep running into spider webs and spiders and I think it might be a new animal totem. Much to my dismay, but um, I'm gonna have to look up meanings of spider animal totems because they are everywhere and they keep showing up in my life and I want them to go away. So maybe if I just acknowledge that they're there, then, that I acknowledge that they're an animal totem, maybe they'll go away. Let's hope for that. Anyways, so to get started, you know, I really wanted a new altar cloth, but I have been so sick over the last week that I haven't gotten out of my house except for today, and I didn't have enough time to go and get a new altar cloth before filming. So hopefully next month we'll have a new fresh altar cloth that we haven't seen before, new exciting things, but this time we're just going with one of the old ones. Um, I just wanted to keep it kind of simple, but I'm still bringing the color that I wanted to bring in which is this color right here, this like aqua teal. And I'm gonna put this actually like right here. And then I'm gonna have this as like my candle space for this month. I'm just gonna do this. I feel like this month's altar is gonna be very earthy. I don't know why, but the stones and stuff just feel very earthy to me. But we do have some balance here. We have the selenite that I always use. But I think I'm gonna put it on this end. And then I also want to have these, which is my hematite balls. I really like these. I actually have six that I am I can use for my altar, but I'm actually just using five today because that's the number that they were very specific about. We want you to use five and in this formation. So I'm going to put those on this corner. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And then they also wanted me to put my blue goldstone sphere on top of those. Why? Nobody knows. If spirit says to do something, you just do it without really questioning it. And then I'm also going to be using my Tahoe stones, which have been smoothed down from the Tahoe waters. These are very, very earthy, very grounding. Really love these. Um, and I wanted to put them around the... Um, candle. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go like this. Yay! Very pretty. And then I'm also going to be using optical calcite, which is really um, an interesting stone. See, so you can see through it, and it helps you to kind of, I don't know, this one really helps me with like mental clarity, which makes a lot of sense for right now because I've just felt kind of clouded and a lot of things have been coming up from my past that I need to work through, so this might help me to work through those things. And then I'm also feeling really called to use Labradorite, which is really good with connecting to uh, magic and psychic abilities and things like that. I'm going to put that over here. And then I'm also going to use my... Bahi stone, which is a stone that comes from Kansas. I don't I don't think I've used this on my I want to say these are goji stones. Goji stones or Bahi stones. I can't remember. I've looked it up on Google. I can't really find one that looks exactly like this, but it looks like a little flying saucer. Isn't that adorable? But this is a very alien feeling stone to me, but it's actually very grounding and it's really earthy. So I believe if I'm thinking of the right stone, these come from Kansas and it's really good at helping to ground you and balance those feminine uh, masculine energies. So I'm going to be using that. 
I'm going to put it on this side actually. And then the last stone I'm going to be using on the altar this month is Bloodstone, which I actually haven't used this barely at all on my altar, and I felt really called to use it today. It's actually a stone for the birth month of March, but I just, I have it, but I don't use it very often. But it makes sense right now because it helps with courage and strength and clearing and stuff like that. And I've been experiencing a lot of past stuff coming up recently, specifically stuff to do with my previous relationship. So I've wanted to kind of clear that out and over the course of many years, it's come up over and over and over again, and I can only work on it a little bit at a time, because it seems that if I try to work it on it all at once and clear it all out at once, it just doesn't work. So hopefully we'll be able to deal with a little bit of that this month. So I'm hoping that these will help me with that. And then as we did before on last month, we're gonna do the card draw. So these were the cards that stood out on the deck for me today. I'm using the Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer again this month. So I pulled these cards out. I know what cards are in here, but I don't know which one is gonna come up. So we're just going to shuffle these really quick and then pull one. This one here on the end is really calling to me. So the animal we're gonna be working with this month, ha, oh, is the peacock. And it says, let yourself stand out and be noticed. That's very interesting. Very interesting combination of energies this month, isn't that? <laughs> very interesting month is ahead of us, you guys. But I hope you guys liked this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.